when we open them turkey. The first thing they do over there is give you a cup of coffee. And uh, if you drink that cup of coffee with them, they say, this commits you for 30 years of friendship. So if we could just keep on drinking that proverbial cup of coffee around the world, we think that uh, we're helping out in the struggle for world peace. I think his vision is that uh, it goes with his business philosophy, but also his philosophy of life. You know, we are on Earth where we should take care of, of Earth and be nice to, to each other and learn from each other. We all are impacted by where we were raised. I would argue that his vision starts from New Mexico of think big, dream big, and the potential for anything. And he kept that vision with him. The Hilton effect is, is a combination of the effect that Hilton has had on the business traveler, and I think they've defined the business travel industry for many years. It's an effect on their employees, and it's, it's an effect on communities. And they were telling me that they had dramatic effects on communities and the way that economies developed, and it turns out that's true. The Hilton effect um, for me is just the positive impact that Hilton has had on the world in the last hundred years. I think about the opportunities that the people of this company have had that are here now and that have come and gone and contributed on the environment around them. Not a day goes by where I don't hear a story of a team member or a hotel having a positive impact on the world around us. The special thing about Hilton is that over half of our leadership got their start in the hotel business when they were very young. I started in March 1967. I've been working at the Hilton since 1987, so it's just about three decades. Whilst we're a big organization, we feel and act like a small organization, you know, which means you have to spot talent and take a risk and take advantage of it. Since I began my career at Hilton in 2003, I've worked in Thailand, Saudi Arabia, Japan and China. I went from cooking bacon and eggs for six months to then suddenly doing a thousand people event. A lot of organizations think hard about how do we create more innovation in part of our employees and very few do it well. And yet something about what Hilton is doing is giving people enough challenges in their career that they're always reaching for the next challenge. We are very much a people business. It's people working for people. He always believed that he himself and his company need to participate in the life of the communities they are in. With each new hotel we open, we're making a lifelong commitment to the community around us. The engine room is at the Hilton, put it that way, but the effects, the benefits, the impacts is really felt within the community outside of the Hilton. I think that just coming through the hurricane a year ago, there was a stronger bond. Everyone experienced a lot, whether or not you were affected directly or you, you knew someone or you helped someone. That sense of selflessness. There's a reason, you know, I've been with this company for 13 and a half years, and it's not only a name, but it's what you represent. And sorry, I'm gonna get emotional. If you love what you're doing, then you are definitely with the right company. I love hospitality. Whatever they need, I'm here for them. What I think is interesting is Hilton has gone into places that most people wouldn't dare to go, and they go into Abuja, they go into Istanbul, they go into the dock area in Buenos Aires, and they create an institution that draws commerce towards it, and in fact, revitalize areas. When you think of Istanbul, or in fact, uh, Shanghai, or, you know, you go to some of those hotels, and the Hilton was the first thing there, and it opened the gateway of that city to the world. Conrad was very smart on business travel. They're constantly changing, meeting the needs of the, the traveler. It's the company, it's the company, that's probably done more to advance business travel 
than anyone else. And this is something Conrad Hilton was explicitly thinking about at a time when you know, Cesar Ritz was catering to the nobility of Europe. But Hilton has been very targeted on business travelers from the beginning. So first air conditioner in hotels, first televisions in hotels, first mini bar in hotels, they're Hilton. You know, if you look at the legacy of this company, in so many ways, we invented the business as you know it today. I mean, somebody had to figure out um, how to do a full service hotel to connect meeting space and food and beverage with rooms, which we take for granted today. A lot of organizers come here and they tell us the service, it's no comparison. The route to better customer experience is innovating on, on the room and technology, but ultimately, it is if our customers feel a difference when they interact with our team members. And that's why culture is so important. We have a team, 380,000 and growing, who really have pride in what they do. They have amazing passion for what they do, no matter what their job is, and that their contribution means something, and that together we're all having an immensely positive impact. I think the world's a better place because Hilton was born 100 years ago. And if we do our job, the world will be a better place because Hilton's in it for the next 100 years.